Hey everyone, tonight I'm at the Paley Center for Media and I'm about to interview the cast of Berlin Station. The fans voted for this show to be here and I'm excited to interview them. How do you relate to your character? How do I relate to my character? Um, I, I love the fact that he has no filter, that he's... I love the fact that he's a perfectionist. I love the fact that he doesn't tolerate anything short of 150% from himself and from everybody that works for him. Um, I have a 15-year-old boy. Robert has a 13-year-old boy who we will see this season. Congratulations a on a, ooh, <laughs> so, season two. Congratulations on attending Paley Fest. Are you excited for your panel? Very. It's Jim Halterman. What's not to be excited about? He came all the way over to Berlin to visit us. That's great. And he, he showed up on set on a rainy day. We, he came. He actually came into my trailer. We sat and had matcha green tea together, and uh, I told him secrets. What was it like shooting there? Because there are so many things going on that related to the show that you guys we were, were doing. Right in the center of it. We're yeah. we're on the eve of parliamentary elections. They're 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 imminent, you know, and. The idea of the rise of the alt right, of of a uh, the allowing of, of of hatred back into politics, was it, uh, it, it's happening right now. What were your thoughts when you first read the script? This season or last season? Both seasons. Um, l l l what I love about the Berlin Station script and scripts is, is it reminds me of a good old-fashioned spy novel. The kind that you could just get lost in, that you could close and put, you know, down by your bedside table. And you, and you get into bed and you can't wait to open it up again. And you don't care where you were in it, you know. And I think of, uh, I, I saw it and I saw the potential for this series to be you know, like a good series, a good spy novel, novel like a paperback series that we could follow the main characters from one book to the next and in each book we'll, we'll, we'll put them in front of, uh, you know, different enemies, different lovers, different stories, you know. So I found, I, 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 I was super excited when I read it. And Olin Steinhauer, you know, is a spy novelist. And yeah. What can we expect to see from the relationship with um, Robert and Val, considering they had a pretty contentious relationship, but now, then they were forced to really work together? They have a contentious see. relationship, but they respect each other professionally. Let's just say that. You know, it's interesting uh, with our storylines is sometimes our storylines are so um, insulated from each other's that for... There are people this year in the in the in the in the main cast who I saw in the beginning professionally and did not see again until the end. I'm not going to say who that is, but we each go off into our separate. And uh, I spend a lot of time with Kiki uh, in a car, <laughs> and there's car chases. And let's just put it this way: I'm not the one driving this year. <laughs> and I love her. I love Kiki Palmer. She's a, a big ball of energy and a breath of fresh air. You know, we welcome both Kiki and Ashley into our house, into our home, our Berlin Station home this year. And I'm telling you, they hit the ground running. It's like they've always been there. And lastly for me, since we're part music as well, are there any musical acts or any music that you like to listen to just to relax or just for fun? You know what? While shooting the show... Um, uh, it's it's for me it's it's uh, it's David Bowie and uh, and 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 the Berlin you know the years he was in Berlin I, I always go back to that and and then you know um, Black Star his his final album is so haunting and and and, and continues to speak to me it it really puts me in a it puts me in a good place for being in Berlin and what do you do to prepare for your role what do I do for <laughs> Um, it's easier these days, you know. I eat a lot of chocolate. That was my diet for the last month was chocolate and chips. Halloween's yeah. coming up. Yes, it is. I'm a dark chocolate guy. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you all. And you're watching Maddie's Moments and let this be your moment too.